In this tutorial, we'll show you how to set up your Gremlin dashboard. When you log into Gremlin, you'll be brought to your dashboard. This is where you can create pages and panels to monitor your social media accounts. On the main navigation bar, you will see the account you are logged in as, as well as a drop down showing other accounts you have access to. Under Info, you can easily access information about Gremlin's features and plans, frequently asked questions, as well as a link to our blog where you can learn social media best practices and tips and tricks for making the most of Gremlin. Under Groups, you can see a list of groups you are a member of, if applicable. The message icon is where you click to create a new message to post to any of your social network accounts. The My Tools drop-down in the top right corner of your screen will act as your guide to any other areas of Gremlin, such as your statistics, reports, calendar, or post pages. Once you've added your social network accounts, you can then add pages and panels to your dashboard to keep an eye on your brand mentions, advanced searches, and your social media streams. Click Add Page. Give your page a name, such as Facebook account, and click Add Page. Once you've created a page, you can then add panels to bring in your various social media streams and searches. Click Add Panel and a new window will appear, displaying all the options you have when creating a new panel. Since we've named our page Facebook account, let's add a Facebook page to this panel. Click on the Facebook Pages tab and enter in the panel name, such as Business Page, and select the account for you, that you'd like to pull in. Make sure that your wall is selected and include any of the post types that you'd like to view, then click Add Panel. Now that you've added your Facebook account, you can create a new page for your Twitter panels if you'd like to keep them separated. Give the page a name, such as Twitter account, and click Add Page. Then click Add Panel and select the Twitter tab. Here you can give your Twitter panel a name, such as Twitter account, and select the account that you'd like to pull in. You can then decide if you'd like to view first your home timeline, just your posts, any mentions, your favorites, retweets by you or retweets of your tweets, your direct messages inbox or outbox, and then click Add Panel. You can set up as many panels as you'd like for your Twitter account. Just cl keep clicking Add Panel and select the different sections that you'd like to pull in. Once you've pulled in all the panels that you'd like, you can rearrange them by dragging and dropping in different orders. You can also X out a panel if you'd like to cancel it at any time. If you decide you'd like to have more than three panels in view at once, simply change the view to show four or five, depending on how many you'd like to see. You can change the name of any of your panels by just clicking on the name and typing in a new word. You can also change the order of your pages by just dragging and dropping them into the order that you'd like. If you'd like to remove any of your pages, you can just click on the small X in the top right corner of the tab. Gremlin will ask if you're sure if you want to delete this page before you do so. Click OK if you're sure or cancel if you'd like to keep the page as is. You can add pages and panels for as many of the social media accounts and features that you'd like and arrange them however best fits your needs. If you'd like to run an advanced search of Twitter, please check out our video on creating an advanced search. You're now ready to begin customizing your Gremlin dashboard. If you have any questions on this or any other Gremlin features, please contact our support team on Twitter at Gremlin Help or by emailing support at gremlin.com.